Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and it's a pity, bleh, it's a pretty big one. I've got a lot of stuff here, but first I wanted to show you what I found at Target. Um, for those of you who are doing keto like me, this Think brand has these keto bars. Typically I don't even look at the ingredients because I know they're pretty bad, but these are not bad at all. They're sweetened with erythritol. The only thing is the chicory root that could cause some blood sugar issues. They have 14 carbs, but seven sugar alcohol. So these are seven total carbs a piece, which is fantastic. Non-sponsor, just want to let you know that I found those. Oh, and I also found these towels. I need to find a second one and maybe a couple more. Um, they're dish towels, but I love these colors for fall. This, if I can find a second one, may become a big old pillowcase and put it on like an accent pillow in here. Like, wouldn't that look so pretty on my new couch or chair? I mean, I know it's kind of far away, but it's, the, I love those colors for fall. So anyway, I need to find a second one of those. I just wanted to show you what I found at Target because um, I was pretty excited to find those bars. Definitely is not something I find a lot and easy. All right, this is in no particular order. I literally have bags down here. Um, so let's get started. I, I can't believe we're in June and I'm buying fall flowers, but you know what, it, it is what it is. I got two of these, which I are the mums because I love them. And I got two of these uh, dahlias. Uh, for a fall, oh, I gotta go, in a minute, I'll go get the thing I bought, the frame that I bought. But I thought these would be pretty for a fall wreath. And then they have, and I don't even know what brand these are, but they are edge press-on nails. So these are not glue, these are press-on. You get 24, so it's up to a seven day wear won't damage nail and the, the brand is fingers here i'll get closer and show you these are the two i chose for summertime which we'll try them i'm gonna pause you for a second and go grab something okay i'm back i how do i feel about this i'm happy that i found it but i'm way irritated for one reason if you saw my diy on my front door wreath for palatania that i made what I really wanted was a bicycle wheel because it's a bicycle ride and I wanted to make it like a bicycle themed wreath. I looked online, I looked in stores, I could not find them. They're sold out, but I saw them all over Pinterest. As soon as I made it and did it, look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Bicycle wheel wreath forms. Like what? So I grabbed two. Um, I'm gonna make a fall indoor wreath for my, over here is a door to my garage. I'm going to make a fall wreath on these bicycle wheels. Literally the next week I found these, but, and I like them. They're cute. So they look like two bicycle wheels, just a wire wreath frame, but I'll need those for, um, the fall. I'm going to make a fall wreath out of it. Okay. Let's see here. What else did I find? Oh, so we are doing a lot of pool this summer with my cousins and niece and stuff. And they had the big bag of the trail mix. So I grabbed one of those for everybody just to share. They also had the big bag of Cheez-Its. And I feel like one bag is great for a couple people and they won't get stale because I won't eat these, but I have a pool bag of snacks. I'll just throw them in there and then everybody can grab what they want and you know, even one person can eat that or a couple people, but then they're not putting wet hands in a big bag. That's my thought. I know it's not cost effective, but it is for me. Since this is not stuff I'll eat, it's better to have it packaged. Hi, dogs. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi? Yes. Yeah. He loves that we have furniture right now. Can I put you down? Here, go behind me. There you go. There you go. Silliness. All right, speaking of pool, 
I did happen to pick up a couple like floaty kickboards for the cousins. They're 13, 14 year old girls that'll be coming over, but they wanted something to float on. I'll get some more, but this is what I found for now. And then this is for me, and it is a seahorse cup floater that I can put a can of something in or a cup of something and float in the pool with me. Um, so just some fun disposable really pool stuff. I know I have, sorry buddy, I know I have pool floats in the garage, I just can't locate them because it's been a couple years since we've had a pool. So I grabbed some pool stuff. Got that, this, I need, I'm trying to sort everything by where it's gonna go. Um, let me move this out of the way. Open this bag. In here, oh, I found, it's a week, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend. So it's a week, work week, daily to-do list, which I love these. I have one on my desk now, and I will need more. It comes... It comes with 30 sheets, which is bizarre to me. Like, why wouldn't you have 52? But, okay. But I did grab um, one of those. That'll go upstairs in my office because I'm always writing to-do lists. And this will be for personal use. I have a, one for work use. I also have up there um, a planner, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. I picked up two more of these metal tags to make Christmas ornaments for my friends and family because what I think I'm going to do is make the gift tag a personalized Christmas gift but tie it on their gift and then they can use it as a gift tag that year and hang it on their tree is what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know. I got cat for my chin. So that's what I'm thinking and I got the two different sizes. So now I have nine of these all together. So we'll do something with them for a Christmas present. Here's something fun that I haven't, I'm gonna put my snacks in the bag, that I haven't seen anybody else haul and I could be wrong. In the men's section, this is a man, a men's travel bag, guys, like a toiletry bag. I'm gonna open it up. It's nice quality. I hope the zipper will last, but it's just like your regular men's. It's lined with plastic on the end. It's plastic or vinyl, but it's lined so it won't like, um, you know, if something spills. But I grabbed two of them. One I will use for my type of storage and one, this one here, which is like a camo, I got for my little cousin that's going to college and I'm gonna put, he and his mom and I are gonna build him like a first aid kit, allergy medicine, band-aids, stuff like that. That he'll, you know, he won't need all the time, but that he'll have, and he can just throw this in his drawer. And if he has a need for something, it'll be in here. Especially like no spray for his allergies, all that kind of stuff. Her mom, his mom will get him some medicines and things to take and have with him at school when he lives in the dorm. And you bet you I'm gonna go looking for those Nerf Band-Aids because Cousin Lori, I'm older. Mm -hmm, you sure are, but you're still getting Nerf Band-Aids. Okay, next stop. I found some more greenery, but I feel like this is gonna be in a two section. And if you've seen these, how exciting. Guys, they're called flocking balls. These are like, they're more of a gold than they're showing up. And then these, and they had orange and a red. I think I got the orange too somewhere. Oh yeah, here's the orange. The other store didn't have the red. So if I see them in the red, I'm gonna grab those and make a little bundle of these for fall. And some of them may end up in my wreath. I don't know, but I'm obsessed with them. Like tell me that is not awesome. These are so cool and you get, I think you get five puffy balls. This one has four. Oh, because one's missing. This one has five. So you get five if you're paying attention, four if you're not. This one was missing one, but I'm going to cut these apart anyway, so it's not a big deal. So I grabbed some of those greeneries. I haven't bought greenery at the Dollar Tree in some time because it's just not necessary in my life. You know what I mean? Um, I did also find wood magnets. How earthy is that? 
and they're just a magnet, but it's like a wooden, it's like the thickness of a Scrabble tile. And you could put letters on here, get the scrap, you know, the rub on letters or words or anything and personalize them, put the days of the week. If you, you know, I'm just gonna stick these on my refrigerator to hang reminder notes to me. Probably when I have a to-do list that I've created for the week, I will hang them on my refrigerator. That's typically what I will do. Um, like I'll create a list and then I will use these to hang them up. What I like to do, sorry bubs, if, um, let's say I have some company coming today. During the week, I will assign myself a couple tasks each day after work. So Friday night, I'm not up all night cleaning my house. You know, I might say clean the bathrooms, vacuum the floor, whatever. And each night, we'll just have one or two small things to do. But by the time we get to Saturday, my whole house or at least the area that people will be in has been deep cleaned and I don't have to, to rush before company comes. And that's just something I do. Um, I picked up a six count of pretzels, just the Snyders, again for the pool. Um, and again, to avoid things getting stale and having just little grab snacks. So also, fun fact, I have a neighbor I'm trying to find the snack bag that I just put together. I have a neighbor that he has special issues. He's on the spectrum. The condo is actually owned by a foundation that helps um, adults with special needs. And for years, a set of twins lived over there, super nice guys, but they had to move out. And so they put a new couple, a new, there's two new people living over there. Not a big deal in my life at all, but they were at the pool, he and his caregiver, so he has 24 hour cares, and he saw the snacks on tables and was just grabbing people's stuff. So I thought if I brought individual bags of things that we could just give him a bag and he would be happy. I don't know. It's not a big deal to me, personally. Now, um, my niece was the one up there and he did put his hands in her bag of snacks and she's not gonna eat after somebody she doesn't know, which I wouldn't blame her. But if we're at the pool and we have snacks, here, have a snack. If you want, if he comes by, we'll have something to offer. And people can just eat that because, you know, we need snacks. Again, I'm not eating any of that. So then there's that little. I have my own snacks that I bring up, but I also like to have snacks for other people. One important reason is I bought a bag of keto snack to bring. It's a small bag. It's about the size of a bag of pretzels and it was $13. So, you know, I wanna have other options too. Um, I am loving that they're doing the size six to 12 in the socks now instead of the smaller ones, but I needed these, bacon and eggs and coffee. And then these are so gonna be worn at Christmas time because I love stripes and I love red and white stripes. And I feel like my red and white striped socks that I had for Christmas, I had to get rid of, I've had them for years, but breakfast socks were kind of important to me. And in the six to 12, I wear a nine and these fit me really well. So that's great. And I know I said before, I don't need more socks, but I mean, I do. I do need more socks. Let's be honest. Oh, this is not Dollar Tree. This is <laughs> Home Depot. I bought some teacup hooks and a bolt wrong store. I need those. I'm going to hang lights outside this year. Now, today it's a rainy day, but my work folks are coming and we're having, we were going to do a picnic at a park get together, but instead we're going to come to my pool house. I'll bring you along in the vlog, but I grabbed these and I love these from the Dollar Tree. I mean, guys, you can't go wrong. Just some chip bowls. They're not overly deep, but they're nice and wide. You know, put your chips in there. People can scoop or grab. We have sanitizer, so everybody will have their hands clean. So yeah, I grabbed a couple of those just for entertaining purposes. I'll keep those actually. These are definitely not something I would consider as disposable. Um, and I always buy all of my stuff in white or clear so that everything matches no matter when I buy it. Because what I'm doing is matching the color, not the shape style fabric, uh, materials, I match white clear with all my stuff. So I never have to worry if something matches or something doesn't match because it's in white. Just an idea. 
All right, guys, we got a couple more bags. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, there's the snack bag. All right, we just have a couple things left. Yes. And again, for today, I just grabbed one of these. This is really disposable. I mean, we're going to do hamburgers. If the rain holds off a little bit, we'll do it on the grill by the pool. If not, we will do it um, inside. There, In my pool house, there's a full stove. So I grabbed that to take up today as well. Now, at today's picnic, we have a couple birthdays or six birthdays in June on my team. And there's only 15 people on my team and six of them have June birthdays. Seven of them now have June birthdays. Crazy. Um, I have gifts together, but I grabbed some cards. And for one of them, I grabbed one of these cards. Oh, yeah, I sure buy them at the kids section because I think they're hysterical. And that's the other card I got. Because Alex, buddy, what are you doing? He's attacking the, the bolts. So I just got some of those. Now, my store was back in stock with these notebooks so i grabbed one for one co-worker and one for the other just to add on to their little gift um and if you haven't seen these these are lined little notebooks but they feel like almost like fake leather they have a different feel to them for sure and i want to say there's like 60 sheets yeah there's 60 sheets in it and it like i said it is lined paper and then i got one of them the frog they also got shirts that says, um, t-shirts. So I got this one for myself and it says, ooh, people, and it's got cats. The one I got for them says, um, I love cats, people not so much. And then I got them this frog, uh, the other one, this frog book. I'm responsible for two of the birthday gifts. Um, a couple of my coworkers and I split everybody up. So they're getting a t-shirt, stickers, these, and something else I have here around here somewhere these I grab for the for their gift bags um, the Oreos for the Olympics that have pop rocks in them so the Oreos have red white and blue layers with pop rocks in them so do you see the, the picture of the red white and blue I thought those would be a fun treat something different I'll throw those in with their gift bag as well as the cards and then their gifts are over there i did pick up one more pack one more set of these little scissors which i love for paper cutting but what i'm going to use these for is um, pruning my plants and i don't want to use paper scissors i want to be able to rub these with a little bit of alcohol so for that but when i cut my plant life back i need a sharp scissor and i thought that these little scissors he is seriously trying to get in this bag to get to the he hears the um, teacup hooks, but he's got the bag upside down. They're out, but he's trying to get through the bag. Buddy, you're not right. He's special. That's Alex down there. Wellington's laying right here. So I grabbed one more pair of these scissors. They're great. I love them. Don't try to cut anything too hard. I mean, like, cut the tags off of your clothing, cut paper. That's pretty much the extent of it. Or plants, so I can trim I got a mint plant and I need to keep these in the kitchen also so I can harvest that. Um, if you're like me and you're starting Christmas shopping, I always, for somebody, create a food basket of some sort, like a food hamper. Usually like with sweets and coffees and all kinds of stuff. But I found, and I've never seen these before, these Pirellini cookies in Meyer lemon. I've seen them in chocolate, hazelnut, vanilla. I have never seen them with Meyer lemon. And so I sure grabbed two, two cans, and I will put these back for Christmas when I make my gift baskets to put in there because this is definitely something unique that I have not seen before. Um, and these are delicious. If you have never tried them, I mean, in my coffee treat days, I mean, I wouldn't even have one. Two wafers is 14 grams of sugar. That's never going to happen in my life. But these are great. I'll grab the other flavors as I see them, if I see anything else unique. And I will have these. I will probably buy, like, a fancy bag of coffee, maybe some syrups, maybe some tea, depending on the person. And just put a little gift together with some treats 
but this will go into my Christmas box that I need to get started. And I usually just keep it in my office and little trinkets and treasures that I find, I put in there. And then when it's time to start putting things together, I generally know what I have. So there's that. Now guys, you, if you know anything about me, I have a couple obsessions, office supplies being one and coffee being the other, right? Because that's how I roll in life. I went to a Dollar Tree and I about squealed. Okay, I did squeal. People looked at me and I don't care. People looked at me funny. I found the coffee stickers. I've never seen them and there was one and it was not hanging up. They have all these stickers of coffee and donuts and tea and treats and you get two pages of them. There are 62 stickers. What? I know. Um, yeah, need these in my life for sure because I love coffee. So I grabbed one of those because that's all I found. I found the Happy Planner sticker books. I'm going to tell you right here and now that I buy these fairly regularly. And at regular price at Hobby Lobby, they are $19.99. Now, I'm going to tell you they're on sale all the time. So I would say average price is $10 for this book of stickers. I got it for $1. And this one is all the seasons. So it starts with Christmas. And it goes through all of your seasons. And these are fantastic stickers. You have like summer stickers. You have, uh, I don't know what that might be. Fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, Christmas, barbecue, summertime, wintertime. They have it all. Oh, like look at those gorgeous stickers, guys. I cannot wait. These are going actually into my planner box for next year so that I can have them for my new planner, which will be bigger for next for 2022. And I have a kajillion of these stickers, a kajillion, I tell you. So I'm not concerned about using them right now, but I did get one for my niece. And I got one for my little cousin who starts high school this year. Uh, so cousin Riley, he goes to college. Cousin Addison, his sister, will start high school. So I grabbed her one of these for her high school planner. I grabbed one for Sarah and one for me. So that we all three have these planners. Guys, they're so exciting. I have to tell you, I love them. And I was, I did squeal. There was a whole stack of them. So I did not clear the shelf by any stretch of the imagination. But I just wanted to share with you that I found them. <gasps> All right, everybody. And I don't know if other stores have different, tell me if you've seen them at your store. Do they have different designs? Cause I only found Chris or the seasonal ones, which is fine with me because I love decorating for the seasons. And like I said, I have so many other of these books that I'm not even concerned about it. Um, that I love that they have the different seasons. So that, my friends, is everything. I hope you enjoy. Got to put my socks away. Hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul today. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. And thank you for bearing with me. I will have some sponsored content coming up. People have sent me things to review. I know that it's not always fun to sit through the advertisements, but it does help support my channel and it helps me bring you more content so it's kind of a give-give situation for everybody. So I hope you appreciate, and I will talk with y'all later. Bye.